everybody, Edo here, and this is an escape puzzle by Ravensburger. And actually, there are a number of these, I, saw, I think I saw three or four of them at Target. I'd never heard of it. My wife and I play tons of the Escape Room, Unlock, Escape, whatever games, and she loves puzzles. I'm okay with puzzles, she loves them. Um, so we decided to buy it and take a look. Um, okay, so. I might get this quote a little wrong, but I think my wife said something like, what kind of psychopath creates a puzzle where the image on the box isn't the image inside the puzzle? Um, and there's a great answer to that. So what these things do is there's like a scene on the cover, which is like the happy, inspirational scene you're trying to get to. And then what you actually open up and end up building is a puzzle where, um, something ha wrong has happened and you're going to eventually try to solve or fix or escape, I guess, that situation. And imagine the, the beautiful scene. In practice, it's close. You're building a puzzle that mostly looks like this, that mostly follows it, but where objects are in a little bit different position, um, a little bit of details are different, and certainly not one where you're like, does this piece go here? Maybe, but maybe not. I didn't mind it. It was sort of interesting. My wife minded it. And I actually went around and started looking to see if there were any other reviewers had reviewed this and found out that there's a ton of YouTube puzzle game reviewers. Um, and I found some that had looked at this and their reaction was about the same. So if like, hard stop, you're like, I don't want to do a puzzle where it's a, not the image on the cover, you know, don't do it. Um, and so, so that's, that's number one. This is a fine puzzle. I think you can look at the different puzzles. Some of them are more detailed than others. I sort of like that this has a lot of discrete little objects um, that work out. So, so as you do the puzzle, you'll notice, in addition to it being slightly different, that many of the tiles have numbers on them. In fact, the whole perimeter has numbers, but then a lot of the different pieces of art and stuff have little details and numbers on them, not shown here. Um, and so what you're gonna do is your first step is build the puzzle. Pretty standard, other than what I said before. Um, the rules are like a little bit more cagey. Like this is like clearly if you're if you're into puzzles and this is like, hey, you want to do an escape room? I'd give people a little bit more of a hint. So if you want to just go and completely cold turkey, stop watching other than the little bit about the puzzle not being exactly the same and that all of these escape room puzzles are effectively math based, almost really closely math related um, and number related. Go ahead and play. Stop here. You got it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal a little bit so just not not really but just so basically What you're gonna do is you finish the puzzle and then around the perimeter are numbers and then there's seven different Escape room like puzzles on the board and you're basically trying to get seven numbers which relate to pieces and then you're gonna build an exit It's cool how that all works is cool I just found it was like surprisingly slightly opaque and I think like if you hadn't done a lot of escape puzzles like that wouldn't be clear the other piece of it is Boy, in the world of potential escape room stuff, this is a lot of number sequencing, positioning. I mean, there was some, I mean, like it wasn't exclusively math, but it was very numbers driven. And um, you basically just look for groups of numbers and then do I have to flip the numbers? Look at them differently or add them or multiply or see the difference between, like that kind of thing, which I'm not so sure is like, I imagine, not everyone, this isn't true for anyone, but the person who likes spatial puzzles is the person in the escape room that's really good at all the spatial puzzle stuff. <laughs> not necessarily the math stuff, but perhaps. Um, but we like, you know, sat there and got most of them and then ultimately there is, I will say, a pretty good app, you, not an app, you like do um, their, website. their website through a QR code and like they have each hint, which is the puzzle, hint, 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 solution. So like, as far as getting to the end, I, I think the payoff is cool, you're, you're, how you solve it. I think they did a nice job there. Um, and, and, and that's about it. The, the final <laughs> envelope is totally blank, which is weird, so don't just leave it on the table. Um, but, uh, and the website's way better for giving you help than the envelope is. The envelope is just like, here are the answers, the, where the website like does the step-by-step. -step. Um, there are a number of these, only play this one, not gonna play another. Um, I mean, maybe, no, I don't think so. There's too many other great puzzles to do. Um, but it was different. I think I would have liked, I feel like there's a better version of this. I feel like 
pushing it a little bit more. You could be building out the puzzle, doing so. Like, I just feel like they could have done just a little bit more to make it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more hand holdy. This is like, here's a, you know, here you go. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, and it looks like there's four on the back. So I don't know. It, it's novel in that regard. I liked it. I also didn't mind that the image was different. I found that interesting. My wife didn't. I've also learned that my wife, and I, I knew this, I knew this, my wife has a system. And if she's working on a puzzle, she lays her pieces out where they go as she's working on it, and you don't move those pieces. Don't move those pieces. Just be supportive you and help. You move them, just don't mess with the orientation. <laughs> you can touch them, but if you move them, move them back to where they were exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Yes, but anyway, so uh, this is, it doesn't have a name, this is Escape Puzzle Unicorn. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.